Demystifying the word, trigger. Hello, dear viewers. Today, we're diving into an interesting topic that you might come across in many English conversations. The word, trigger. Let's explore its meaning, how it's used, and its variations. The term, trigger, originally refers to the lever on a gun that you pull to fire it. When you press the trigger, it sets off a chain reaction, resulting in the gun firing. So, in its most basic form, it means, to set something in motion, or, to cause something to start. But like many words in English, trigger, has found its way into everyday language with more figurative meanings. 1. Emotional response. For example, if someone says, that song triggers memories of my childhood, they mean the song evokes or brings back those memories. 2. Activate or start. It can also be used in technology or processes. For instance, the alarm is triggered when someone enters the room without a pass. A commonly used phrase these days is, trigger warning. This is a warning that precedes potentially sensitive content. It indicates that the following material might evoke a strong negative emotional response in some people. For example, if a video discusses a sensitive topic like violence, a trigger warning might be given at the start to prepare viewers. To help you understand better, let's see how trigger can be used in different sentences. 1. Loud noises trigger my anxiety. Here, it means loud noises cause or bring about anxiety. 2. The smoke triggered the fire alarm. In this sentence, it means the smoke caused the fire alarm to activate. 3. The movie has a trigger warning for scenes of violence. This warns viewers that there are violent scenes that might upset some people. And there you have it. We've demystified the term, trigger, and its various uses in the English language. We hope this has been enlightening and will help you use and understand the term more confidently. Until next time, keep exploring and enriching your English vocabulary.